what's good YouTube in this interview uh, you actually get a very special guest even though all of them are special this one's like extra special because Mitch and I go a while back <laughs> yeah. um, in the in the marketing world um, this is Mitch Miller uh, the business partner Mac who's probably traveling some part of South America right now um, and you know we're currently in Texas at a mastermind together um, what we're going to do in this, like every other interview, is you're going to hear about Mitch's story from, he's got a true uh, rags to riches story from the time of like living on the streets, um, eating raw rice with ketchup, like that's literally what he was eating at one point, I'll never forget that story, I'm telling him my jaw literally hit the ground and he told me about that. So yeah, he's like, he's become one of the most respected people in the online industry today from copywriting to psychology to sales through the written word. Uh, through understanding what makes people tick and buy because you know in his entire career That's all he studied because being where he was was one of the things that he didn't want people to do and like That's what I guess kind of drives you really more than anything I've ever made. We we're doing about 30 grand a month or so um, And but we were doing big huge landscaping yeah. projects like renovations and makeovers We didn't even know how to do it. We were like YouTubing it the night before. Trying oh, they want out. a waterfall feature How do we do that? I don't know YouTube it the night before. Yeah. They're like, can you do it? We can do it. Yeah, how much? <laughs> Just make up a number. Yeah. Um, and and so, landscaping business, um, it, it's fun physically, but it sucks. It's yeah. a terrible business. Um, and we hired all, all of our friends and stuff like yeah. that. And then we decided to, I, I was like, my dream is to do marketing for businesses and also teach it. So I said, it's time, it's finally time yeah. to do this. And I knew I was ready. I've been trying since 2004 to you know, to be a guy that can be trusted to consult to businesses sure. and do this. But nobody took me seriously because I wasn't ready. Yeah. I wasn't that person. So when I was finally ready to be that person in 2014, I came out the gate swinging. I wrote a book. I just came out and just started swinging my nuts around and said, I'm fucking here to stay yeah. and let's do this thing. And it's well, been the book was Agent crazy. Agent crazy. That, actually, that was the second one. No, that was the, that was the first one. Yeah. But that was only for realtors. Yeah. I had another book called Opposed Marketing. Opposed Marketing. And that, that was the first one for the, the, the business owner yeah. crowd, the yeah. entrepreneur crowd. And it's just been uh, up ever since. Yeah. I refuse to, to stop. And at that point in time, it was like 2014, 2015 is when I first, we, when we first connected. Uh, through the online world and the DM groups and the digital marketer groups and funny enough we're here for a digital marketer event yeah, was it that's, labs that's I think it was called back yeah, in the day or right. engaged or something like that that's right um, and Mitch and I would be two people that were in these groups and lead genning and they didn't like it because we were giving so much content like he was giving content from a perspective of marketing and sales and or marketing and psychology and copywriting and I was doing it from the opposite end of traffic and sales and we were doing it with these hardcore out there posts and people just weren't liking it and we just kind of like kind of knew that we needed to connect you guys came to vancouver summer of 2015 okay as i think that was the time when you, you guys first came to vancouver or yeah. what you and mac and um you guys downtown for a quick yeah. coffee and then we instantly connected yeah and we're like we need to do something together mm -hmm. and fast forward two months you flew me out to train your team at that point in time for to do some sales because you were built i think you guys had, yeah, you had an office um in edmonton and you had two guys working for you yeah and we were gonna build you can build a sales team um, and then from there, funny enough, another transition in this was we having a conversation about potentially living internationally and where we would do it because we're making good money living in Canada, but Mitch is kind of getting fed up paying the taxes. And I'm like, and Hey, it's cold and cold, very, very cold. And I'm like, have you ever been to Asia? He's like, no, he's like, I'm like, you probably should go try to check out Asia. Cause I think you'd actually enjoy it. Yeah. And it's just like, you know, I'm going to tell you to go blank yourself. And at the end of the day, what what's going to come out of it from you? You're not going to be able to, to network with myself or Mitch or any of the people. People that just get to hang around us automatically level up because you know they just come and want to provide value to us. And I'm not saying that you know every single one of you that are probably going to DM Mitch or DM myself now and be like, oh, I'm going to do everything for free. We don't want that. We want to pay for fair value. I believe in fair exchange. Um, you know whether it's me paying you through monetary or Mitch paying you through monetary and you giving value back. But what Mitch did was he saw somebody. At another level in business in another part of business not in the online marketing world in the e-commerce world and and he's like you know that's a whole different audience that doesn't know who I am you take what's, your ego out of it yeah you take your ego out of it what's the fastest way for me to get into their audience because I still have knowledge that can help them and he went to the top dogs and said hey you know you usually charge what 25 to fifty thousand dollars a uh, sales letter and he said I'll do yours for free Twenty-five to fifty thousand dollars, he said. I will do yours for free, and I barely have the time to do it. Yeah, 
and and they knew that, and and it was cool. And and, the, and to be honest, they're taking a risk too, yeah, because they don't quite know me. They they looked me up and they saw that okay, my my copy's legit enough, but yeah. they're still taking a risk because there's a lot of time wasted if I didn't follow through, or if, you know, there's yeah. no money contracted, so. You know, it's it, it it's a risk on both sides, but I took the ego out and I was like, this person is crushing it over here. They're crushing it more than me. It would, it would, I would be stupid not to try to get on their good side. Yeah. And you don't do it in a slimy way. Yeah. I did it by just offering offering what I could value and what I have as a skill to them. And what that brought you in turn, you, you don't even know the amount of money you're gonna make from that. It's gonna be don't ridiculous. Know. Don't know. Don't care. Don't care. Yeah. But I know it's there, yeah. and 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 at, well, I, I I know it's there from from the different connections. We even went to their mastermind, and there was a couple guys there who've been following me for years who were actually fans, yeah, like actual fans, yeah. And I thought that was kind of interesting. But it's a whole introduction to a whole new world. So yeah. so we're gonna t- we're gonna end this off, and you know, like a lot of the a lot of my interviews are very different, and this one's one of the ones where it's like it's more of a motivational, inspirational. And I don't like motivation. I wanted to inspire you because inspiration is going to create something in, in, within you to move forward. And you know, what is one tip that you can? Let's say let's let's do let's do like one tip that could help a beginner and yeah. one tip that could help a someone that's you know high five figure six figure business owner right um, stuck and then someone that's trying to figure out what the hell they want to do in their life. Okay, cool. So the dude who's like. He's at the, like he's at six figures or or almost breaking six or even if he wants to break to seven he's kind of in that intermediate like it's not even intermediate because like even if you hit ten mil ten mil a year that's like considered a super small business yeah. in America yeah. but in in our world whatever this weird bubble ass bubble thing is that we're in um, that's like an intermediate sticking point yeah. uh, for that you need to you need to like Dean Graziosi said yesterday, to, to have that authenticity, authenticity. and pas- passion. Yeah. I have a slightly different take on it, um, which is you got to like write down and crystallize your values, your ethics, your your mission, and what yeah. you fucking stand for, and codify that so that and 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 act and believe and move with that so fucking hard yeah. that it almost creates a movement in of itself. Because you're willing to fucking die for it. As soon as you're willing to die for your message and what you believe and who you're trying to help, yep. you literally become unstoppable and you become super strong. Yep. And that's what cuts through the bullshit and cuts through the clutter of everyone else not knowing who they are, not knowing what they stand for, just trying to get money, just trying to get likes. And they're going around doing this bullshit and you're like, boom, yep. with that shit. So that's the that's the piece that would take that person to the next level, I think. Yep. For the beginner, it's actually the opposite. I would say, I would say it's about humbling yourself, not thinking you're king shit, yeah. not having the Dunning Kruger where you think like just because you learned a little piece of marketing and it's so mind blowing for you yeah. that all of a sudden you think that you understand all marketing. Yeah. I had a friend who like just started driving. He was like, "Oh, I'm a fucking great driver." Three days he was cocky, but I'm a great driver, man. I'm awesome. I'm like, "Oh shit." There we go. Yeah. One week later, big accident, yeah. humbled his ass down. You're not a good fucking driver. You've been driving for three fucking days. But yeah. just because it's new to you and you learn so much, you think you're fucking better than you are. Yeah. That's why those scooters in Thailand are so dangerous. Yeah. Humble yourself down and just be like, I know nothing. But don't be needy about it. Like, scrub the scrub the car of the fucking the guy you want to learn from. Yeah. Scrub his nuts. Do it. Do whatever. Do the Hollywood casting couch. Yeah. Pour yourself up. You got to basically... Um, Whatever Take inspires the time. you. <laughs> yeah. Take the, don't become a goddamn business guru. Yeah. That's the last thing you want to do. Take the time to learn a craft, to master a craft, the patience to uh, to really just mold it and take it and fucking take 10 years. Who yeah. gives a shit? Because you're there's people who keep trying to take the shortcuts and they yeah. keep trying to be good at something they haven't actually taken the time to perfect yeah. and they'll they'll never get the, it's like it's like trying to become a bodybuilding champion and they're taking steroids but they're not working out consistently they're not eating they don't have their diet they got nothing they're just trying to stick something in their ass to get to whatever and then they get some weird lighting and they crack their body that way and you can see a fucking ab hanging out and that's what everybody's doing online yeah. to try it's to market true. themselves they're, they're doing fake, that weird fake, version fake entrepreneurs fake influencers and yeah. like they've got zero experience stop trying to become the next coach go get results Mitch and I didn't take on a single coaching student till we had multiple seven figures of results for our clients, not for us, yeah. for our clients. Before we could say, okay, I'm at a point where it's like we could actually coach people with on the real businesses, coach. yeah, not yourself, because you, you sell yourself and then coach people on selling yourself. It's a big circle jerk of nothingness. Yeah, 
and so so it's it's actually patience yeah. for the young person which is the last thing they want to hear yeah. but you got to master uh, you got to master a skill yeah. uh, a profitable skill too too many people are like I'm the anti procrastination life coach or I am the fucking um, I have someone my, I'm a goal setting coach I was like holy shit dude you're a goal setting coach like the fucking camera guy behind here is laughing his ass off he's going to fall into the fucking fireplace because the fact that somebody is a goal setting coach is the dumbest thing I ever heard and and, bec and partly because it's not profitable. Yeah. I learned copywriting because it's one of the most profitable skills in the world. Yeah. You learn sales because it probably is the most profitable skill in the entire world. Yeah. I, le I learned marketing because it's the most profitable skill in the world. Then inside marketing, I was like, what's the most profitable inside of that? Oh, yeah. copywriting. Yeah. Okay, so you got to take the time to figure out which skills are actually profitable in the marketplace yeah. and then fucking set to master them and actually learn them over time and not need to become an overnight success because it's a fucking pipe dream. It's almost never happens. And if you are that one to happen, then you know, it'll happen for you. But odds are you're gonna have to grind like the rest of us. And in this is kind of what I want to tail this one off with. Dean Graciosi yesterday said it the best is, you know, does I don't know when you're watching this, um, but whenever you're watching this, at the end of the day, you know, winter's coming and I cannot wait for winter to come because and and what I mean in the economic standpoint of winter is coming. Because what's going to happen is all you fake entrepreneurs, all, you, all the fake um, influencers, all the fake coaches that have, you know, goal setting coaches <laughs> that have literally uh, just created this whole bullshit niche or whatever the hell you want to call it for themselves um, are going to be gone. Why? Because you're going to be destroyed from people that have built solid foundation, a solid business. Um, and in, a t in tough times, people are going to sort out the exports because they're going to be putting more due diligence into their marketing, they're gonna be putting more due diligence into, into who they're hiring, and they're going to want to work with people with solid, tangible results outside of themselves. So, you know, do not have that microwave mindset where it's like, you know, I'm gonna, you know, open the microwave, put my life in there, turn it into two minutes, hit start, and hopefully I come out and have a Lamborghini, because that's, trust me, that is fucking nowhere near what it looks like in the entrepreneur world. That's what your soul will. Yeah, that's, that's what, what all, all these little gurus will, will sell you. And I'm considered a guru in this space, and so are you. Yeah. The word is weird, I don't give a shit. Like, yeah. people are like, I don't wanna be like, people make fun of gurus, whatever. People love to fucking follow people yeah. who are ahead of them, that's fine. Yeah. Um, but it's it they they all sell you how easy it is yeah and it's fucking bullshit. bullshit so now mitch where can they find you in the brothel <laughs> um so on facebook yeah you can find me on youtube under opposed media yeah. you'll find a bunch of training videos all of our courses all of our information is free i don't sell courses anymore we give it all away um i'll get your money at my events um <laughs> And you can find me on Facebook. You can search Mitch Miller, Father of Freedom. You'll find a personal profile. I update that all the time. You'll find a public page, which I don't update, uh, but we'll start doing that. So. <laughs> all of these links are going to be below. Um, and we got to get you on the Instagram game, man. <sighs> all right, twist this arm. <laughs> We're going to get you on the Instagram game or this watch is mine. <laughs> <laughs> twist the arm, the watch is gone. Damn. <laughs> Uh, so hopefully you guys like this go like Mitch's courses are absolutely insane and the fact that he gives them all the way for free it just blows my mind um, Mitch the one thing we definitely do and we do really well is see each other in a different city every single time never uh, in our own never country. in our own city uh, for, actually it's gonna be two years since we'll be seeing each other in Vancouver in a week <laughs> really but uh, other than that we've seen each other in another city so thank you for this one YouTube if you've literally enjoyed this put the comments below what you enjoyed what you learned uh, whether it's finding Mitch in a brothel or becoming a goal setting coach, I really hope that those weren't your two breakthroughs. Set um, your goals in a brothel. <laughs> Set your goals in a brothel. There you go. Um, and if you do, please put a picture of it below because I want to see it. And I look forward to seeing you in the next interview. Thanks. <laughs>